Jacobs seven cylinder radial engine. It's a four stroke engine, it's 755 cubic inches. This thing was made by Jacobs in Pottstown, PA. They started making these in 1938 and they improved them all the way up until 1972 when they closed the plant. This thing was used in what they called the Bamboo Bomber, which was an AT-17 uh, uh, Cessna. And they used it, they had twins, it was a twin engine aircraft, and they used it to train pilots for the B-17s. So that's primarily where these came from. And then after the war, they were putting these in biplanes and crop dusters, airboats. I know they had some of these in uh, crew, uh, uh, troop haulers and some of the other military equipment. I think they had, even had one of these in a helicopter. But at any rate, this thing uh, has about 300 horsepower at 2,400 RPMs. And that's when you're climbing. The cruising's about 2,000. Uh, 2,000 RPMs. Now there has all aircraft engines have twin ignition. There's two spark plugs. The front spark plug is battery ignition. The back spark plug runs out of the magneto. It has a priming system that primes instead of a choke. It has a priming system that primes the top. In this particular case, three cylinders, and that's done with this little hand pump that would have been on the firewall, I'm not sorry, on the dashboard for the pilot. You would you pump the thing prior to starting it, and if he's running out of gas, which you've probably seen in some of the war movies where the guy's doing something on the dashboard trying to keep the engine running, well that's what he's doing. He's pumping whatever he's got left in the cylinder to see how far he can get. Now this thing also has what they call an inertia starter. The inertia starter, basically it's a regular starter, but it's they scrap. You speak up! They, they strap the commentator and, and, and the armature so it spins faster. And once it gets up to speed, then they engage it into the flywheel. Or you can start it manually. And that would be a real trick. So you can start it manually on a, on a, on a magneto. So I'll start the thing, let it idle for a few minutes, and I'll, I'll run RPMs up and down. I'll let it idle real low, which would be what you'd hear on the airstrip while he's idling, while he's coasting around. And then I'm going to give it about five pumps to prime. Now, if you guys remember uh, Sky King, he had the airplane that was had two of these on it. Whatever that's worth.